My name is Willis Hooks. I have a job relating to Homemon and work at the Homenoba company. I'm 24 years old. I'm so happy every day because I get to work something related to what I have loved since long time ago. As far as I can remember, I loved Homemon from anime to games. I was also devoted to their merchandise. And now I'm working at the merchandise planning department, but... Willis, what's the progress for organizing the data which I've requested? I'm in the middle of trial and error because I think I can make it much easier for you to see. I'm happy that you're trying to improve it, but it passed the deadline. I... I'm sorry. How about moving this chart here? I see. I'm still new to the job, and I get warned by my senior colleague, Laurel Amory. But... Laurel! I finished! Yeah. This is easy to see. You've grown, Willis. Thank you so much! <laughs> uh... Laurel is trick in some parts. But recently, she would praise me more. Laurel is three years older than me and she is trick, cold senior colleague. She was originally a trainer, so even now, she would teach me how to work. I have asked Laurel as to why she got into this company one day and... At Homemon, men and women of all ages can enjoy the contents. The 39th episode of the anime had a very touching story. And as for the game, there are many elements to play with. So, it's always fun. So, whatever how old I am, I will love it. Laurel spoke passionately about Homemon, which was completely different to that of her normal self. I secretly admired her. And one day, on my day off... Hello, Willis. It's about time you show us your grandchild, don't you think? Here she goes again. At every opportunity, my parents would rush me into getting married. I'm still only 24 years old, you know? Don't be ridiculous. You're always only interested in Homemon since long time ago. So don't you get worried? Uh, I can understand what my mother is trying to say, but every time she calls me, she rushes me, and I'm tired of it. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, I've been hiding this, but I have a girlfriend. R really? Show me a photo of her. If you're going out with her, you should at least have one photo of her, right? Uh, photo. Uh, hey, wait. I remember taking a photo before at the company's party. Once I cut this part out, it looks like a photo of me and Laurel. I, I just sent it to you. That should be fine, right? She, she's your girlfriend, Willis? Y yeah, she's my senior colleague at work. I see. Then, bring her over the next time. Huh? I'll be looking forward to next weekend. Um, wait, mother! The beginning of the week after what happened, I lied to my mother, but... Shall I ask Laurel to pretend to be my girlfriend? No way, no way. I can't annoy her like that. And my mother might say something again. But I'll tell her that we broke up within this week or so. Willis, can I talk to you for a moment? Y yes You... I heard that you introduced me as your girlfriend to your parents. H how do you know? I'll find out sooner or later anyways. Anyways, this weekend, shall I come over? Huh? I'm supposed to be your girlfriend, right? I'm supposed to go greet your parents, right? I is that okay with you? Thank you so much! I don't know how it ended up this way, but I'm saved. And the weekend came. I brought Laurel over to my parents' house, but... Uh, I can't believe that my brother really brought a girlfriend over! Hey, Fiona. What does that even mean? She's my little sister, who's in her third year of her university. It seems like Fiona can't believe it at all that I had a girlfriend. Now, now. Welcome. It's been a long time. Huh? Yes, long time no see. You've grown so much. Anyways, come in. Y you know each other? Mm, I guess you wouldn't remember. Laurel Chan's mother is actually my senior, and we were close. And you both used to visit each other when you were little, you know? Huh? Supposedly, Laurel's family had moved away when I was just in kindergarten. I was too little back then, and since we didn't keep in touch, I had forgotten about it.
But Mother, you remembered well. You only met her when she was a child, right? I'd keep in touch with them through New Year's cards. And Laurel's family would send their card with a photo of their family on it. So that's why I knew. And now that I heard that you were going out with Laurel, I was so happy that I contacted Laurel right away. I also remember about that time because I was an elementary school student, but... I found out that the boy was actually you, Willis, after your mother got in touch with me. I had no idea. So that's why Laurel also knew that I had to introduce her as my girlfriend. By the way, how far are you both thinking about your relationship with each other? I want to see the face of my grandchild as soon as possible. Uh, about that... We're dating with marriage in mind. Huh? Now, now. Please take good care of Willis from now on. It goes the same for me too. Thank you for your continued support. And we got to catch up and have a nice chat for a while and left my parents home after. Laurel, I'm very sorry for getting you involved in such an awkward situation. Thank you so much for playing along. It's not a problem at all. Besides, I did it not only for you, Willis. Huh? I mean, you called my name. I'll have you take the responsibility to marry me, Willis. H How come? We just greeted your mother, right? We can't say we're not gonna get married now. Th that's but but I hated being rushed into marriage from my parents. Which is why I just introduced you as my girlfriend on my own. Is that even okay with you? As for me, being able to get married to Laurel, whom I respect, will make me happy, but... If it wasn't okay, I wouldn't even be saying this. And I wouldn't even be greeting your parents with marriage in mind, even if it was a lie. Uh... I... actually... really like you, Willis, you know? Or... am I not good enough? N no first of all, go out with me, please! This is how Laurel and I began to go out. Since then, at the company... Willis, did you gather the data for the last month's merchandise sales? I'm sorry, I've been busy with other work. I'll finish it within today, even if I have to do overtime. If it's too much for you, leave it to someone else or consult to me. Okay. Just like this, Laurel was strict as usual, but at our private life... Look, Willis! It's the new merchandise for Homemon! I already reserved it online! I want the Homekorosikus SR! That's nice, but I want SSR! This year's movie was really good! Yes, I'll come back to watch it again. I... I'll go with you. We went on many dates and deepened our relationship. Over time, Laurel began to show expressions that she'd never show at work. Laurel really must like Homemon, huh? She's strict in the company, but our hobbies match. I really enjoy being with her, but we only went to my parents' house just to say hello. Why did she agree to go out with me? Um, Laurel... Willis! Homemon merchandise are being sold over there too! Let's go! Uh, okay! And one day... Willis, welcome back! F fiona how did you get in? You left the spare key at parents' house, remember? I got in with that spare key! How selfish of you. Anyways, what happened all of a sudden? I can't accept the fact that you and Laurel is going out! Huh? You forgot this at parents' house, right? Oh, yeah, that's my handkerchief. I chased after you to bring it to you, and... I heard you both talking. You lied to mother, right? I know everything. But by the way, does our parents know about... There's no way I can say it. Mother's really very happy. And father's also relieved, and they look so happy. But the reason why I can accept is not only that... Hmm? I... I... like you, Willis. F fiona I've liked you for a long time. <sighs> We're not actually siblings, so we can get married, right? Uh... Yes, Fiona and I are not actually related. 
and are not actually siblings. Fiona's actual parents are my aunt and uncle from my mother's side, and when Fiona was a child, they both died from an accident. In other words, we are cousins. If you're not going out with Laurel and don't have feelings for her, please go out with me. <sighs> I'm sorry. You are my beloved little sister, Fiona. But I can't see you as a romantic interest, so I can't go out with you. <laughs> I see. Then during my summer vacation, I'll stay over at your house. Huh? Right now, you can't see me as a romantic interest, but we won't know what the future holds, right? I didn't think that you'd genuinely go out with me, and originally, I was planning on trying to get close to you. I want you to... like me. If it's summer vacation, there's a lot of time, right? That's why I came here today. I... I see. Be prepared, okay, Willis? That's how Fiona came to live with me, for the time being, but... Willis, I cooked, so come home quickly. Willis, there's some place I want to go, so... Can you guide me? Let's go on a date. Willis, who are you calling on the phone with? That's how she tried to get close to me, and she began to disturb my time that I had with Laurel. I'm very sorry for not being able to go on dates recently. You don't have to apologize, Willis. Let's wait for Fiona to accept us, okay? Okay, but actually, I really want to be with you more, Laurel. Me too. Well, we are actually a couple. Just like Fiona said, we began to go out with a flow. But my feelings that I have for Laurel, these feelings are real. Well, I can't really say that to my little sister because I get embarrassed. And one day, finally, I get to go on a date! I told Fiona that I had to work on a day off, but I'll enjoy this! Laurel, where shall we go today? There is actually a place that I wanted to go, so can we go there? Sure, I'll go anywhere with you. This is how we began our date. We can't go out too long, but the time we spent together was very enjoyable. But where shall we go next? Hmm, yes, next. Uh, Willis? F Fiona? Aren't you supposed to be working? Why are you with Laurel? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry too, but as a couple, we wanted to spend time with each other once in a while. Do you like Laurel more than me, Willis? You are important to me as my little sister, Fiona, but Laurel is also important to me. Can you understand? Uh, I don't care anymore! Fiona! Oh, Fiona! I'm sorry. We were on a date and this had happened. I have to find Fiona. You're right. Then let's split up to find her. I'm also responsible of this. Oh, okay. Then I'll go search around from the back road, so... Please search around from the main street, Laurel. Thank you! We began to search for Fiona, and then... She's hard to find. Where the hell did she go? Please, stop it! Ugh. Huh? I only called out to the girl who seemed troubled. She's my precious little sister. I won't let you touch my precious little sister. You're pretty tough for a girl. You're cute. So, let's hang out together. No thanks. Don't say that. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Willis. Who are you? These people are very important to me. If you're going to do something to them, I will never forgive you. I only just called out to them. Ugh, this is annoying. Are you two okay? Thank you, I'm fine. Fiona, are you okay? Oh, yes. Alright, I'm glad you're okay. Instead of being here, let's go home for now. You're right. Mm. And then... Both of you... I'm sorry, Fiona. I'm also sorry. You're not at any fault, Willis. You lied because I was disturbing you both. But I still can't accept the relationship that you both have. The thought of the person why like is going out with another person like this is just... I don't want to accept the fact that Laurel is Willis's girlfriend. I'm sorry, Fiona, but no matter what anyone says, I am Willis's girlfriend. I can't change this. 
it's not like you really like Willis. I... I also do like Willis. Huh? Because I like him, I can't hand over... the position of being Willis's girlfriend to anyone. Wh why do you even like a person like me? Willis, you work really hard. And I've been curious about you from before. You try to make the documents easier to see on your own. And even if you're very busy, you try to complete your work. And because of that, you go over deadlines which can be a defect. Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're clumsy. But I do have high hopes for you, Willis. I really like the fact that you're serious towards your work. And when it becomes about Homemon, you become a little immature. And I really like that because you're cute when you're like that. And you just tried to protect us back then. And I like that part about you too. Oh! When I found out that you were the boy who I played with when we were young, I was so surprised. Because at that time, I also liked you, Willis. Laurel. The reason why I like Homemon is because we used to watch anime together a long time ago. And we also enjoyed playing games. I knew that we won't meet again, so I gave up, but I fell in love with the same person again. Why now? Hmm, I wanted to say this for a long time, but I was embarrassed. But when you confessed, Fiona, I thought that I shouldn't be running away. I also really like Willis because he has always been there for me, and he's so kind. I'm sorry. I'm very happy to know that you like me, but... I can't see you like that, only as my family. You are my little sister, and you're very important to me, and that will never change. Willis, do you like Laurel? Hmm... Both of them are being so honest with their feelings right now. I have to also tell them how I really feel. <sighs> Actually, I like you from way before. Oh! I can talk about my hobbies together with you. And this is so enjoyable and very comfortable for me. I think that when you talk about Homemon passionately, that's very cool. And the adorable face that you show sometimes is also... W willis Hmm? Uh, um... I'm happy, but... I'm embarrassed. Oh. <sighs> I understand and know now that you both like each other. It seems like I can't separate the both of you like this. The then Yes, I'll accept this relationship. Fiona! But Willis, you have to also take good care of me, okay? Of course. I'll be in your care too, okay? Laurel, my sister. Oh, th thank you. This is how our relationship finally got accepted by Fiona. And then time passed by. Willis, Laurel, congratulations on your marriage. Fiona, thank you. We got married. It all began with a lie, but now it's changed to real romantic feelings. I would like to shower Laurel and to our child who would be born someday with real affection and love.